G'day YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to create uh, your very first Hello World Python application in Linux Mint. Now the good thing about Linux is it's already got Python uh, installed in its repositories. It's all there ready to go. So the best way to do it is through the terminal. So open up a terminal first. And first we have to create the, uh, the Python file. So what we'll do is type in get it which is a text file editor then the squiggle to really just to mean that that's our home folder and then desktop and then call it hello world dot py now hit enter and get it should pop up great there we go now the first thing we have to type in is apart from the code the only mandatory thing we have to type in right now is the uh, hash and an exclamation mark I'll just make that a little bit bigger so that you can see just bear with me a moment okay now you have to type in user bin and Python, just so the compilers know that it's uh, to be uh, really just compiled in Python. And then uh, it's good coding practice to put the author and the program name, which is Hello World. Just do the P1. Nope, leave it out. Okay, now all you have to do to make the Hello World program work is type in print and then Hello World with the brackets there and a semicolon. Then click save and you'll see it pop up there. There it is now. Close it off. Now, what you need to do next is actually uh, give it write permissions as well. So give this file write permissions. So you have to type in chmod then type in plus x to give it the executable permissions rather I think I said write permissions a moment ago and then type in the address of where it is then hit enter. Now that should work. Now the last thing you want to do is open it. So type in Python and then the address the location of the file there we go and there we go great it says hello world everyone's a winner so that's pretty much it guys um, sorry again for the slip ups I just couldn't get my words out today but um, that is how you uh, create a some Python code then make it executable then uh, run it from the terminal Alright, I hope that's been of some help to you guys. Cheers.